Hi, this is Mike Brightman with Brightman Designs and want to take a moment to answer this question on the SketchUp Exchange regarding placing grid lines in the layout. So uh, it started out a little bit vague, but then uh, we had a few more people chiming in and uh, had a request for a video. But um, let's, let's hop into SketchUp. I, I think that this is going to be an easier way for me to explain this is if we take a look, this is a, a generic model. Uh, I will post this uh, on the uh, in this thread so you'll have a link to this model that you can grab and and use this and if you check it out I've got uh, my layer states are all set up I can go all on all off interior exterior kind of get around in this model uh, let's go to all on and just take a look at the organization here so first off there's no levels uh, and then there, there's no need to break up level one two three because there's only one level and same thing uh, with new and existing I decide just to treat this as a, a new construction project and what we're going to do is add some some beams to this project and look at how you can create those uh, structural grid lines I suppose I think that's what this thread was getting at so uh, to do that though uh, we have, well, as mentioned though let's let's go through the organization our ceilings and then we have our walls and inside of our walls we have exterior versus interior so we can hide those and then we've got some uh, ceiling equipment we've got fixtures windows and equipment and then you've got your doors and furniture and floors so that is it it's a pretty small model uh, I need to unhide everything and what we're gonna do though is let's look at our interior that that's gonna help us work on this a little bit and I wanna draw some beams so uh, first off I'm just gonna draw on here a shape that is we're going to call this uh, 8, 12. So we're just drawing a beam. Actually, 6, 12. OK. First thing I do is make that a group, and then make it a component. And then I want to stretch that beam. Uh, we'll snap it to, uh, to this point there. And then we're also going to snap it to this point there. And then let's make it look a little bit more like a beam. So uh, one way to do that would be I could just draw a line down the middle. Uh, let's see if I offset by 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and then uh, let's see. We can take these two pieces, scale those out, and then swipe those. So now we'll just push and pull and trim this out, double click on that piece, and then I think this should actually go in uh, 0 0.25, and then I'll double click on this side as well. So the whole thing's half an inch. All right, so inside of my component now, I've got my, my geometry that represents the beam. All right, so let's just go ahead and copy this down the line. So I'll use my Move tool, make a copy along the red axis all the way to the end here, and then I'm just going to make uh, eight divisions. And it's a little bit overkill for this structure, I'm sure, but uh, this will just illustrate the point. Okay, so now I want to select uh, each one of these beams. I could just go to all off, and that leaves behind uh, everything on layer zero, essentially. So now I could select all of my beams, make them a group, and let's add it to the layer uh, architectural structure. Now it goes away because I have all of my layers turned off. So we'll just turn those back on and look at our interior. And okay, so now we've got our layers set up. Uh, but now, within this uh, group of the, the structure, I want to add a 2D graphic and a 3D object. So it's very important to be aware of where you're at in the model. So I'll double click one level in to my structure group. And I'll hide the rest of the model to make it a little bit clear. And then I'll double click into this beam component. Now, inside of here, this is where I'm going to grab this stuff and make it a group and put that on the layer 3D object. And then I'm going to draw a line right down the center of it. So we'll just go all the way down on the green axis. And then this is where you want to use that plugin from Smustard. We want to create our grid line in here. So uh, I can go to Draw and choose Dashed Lines. And I'll throw the link for Smustard in this post too. Uh, but the Dashed Lines plugin, I use this all the time to create my a lot of my 2D graphics. All right, so here's the dashed line uh, plug-in, and I can choose like a long dash, short dash, and three inches is usually about right. We'll say okay. And then if I triple click on that, it kind of selects all of that geometry. 
I can make it a group, assign it to the layer 2D graphic. Let's turn that 2D graphic layer on. And now, this 2D graphic, I want that to sit, uh, I suppose, I'll just put it on the floor like that. So now you can see that every beam component has a grid line associated with it. And, you know, maybe maybe it would be better to, um, if you were to, uh, let me just draw an extra little piece there so I can actually scale this thing. Uh, scale it out like this and just kind of overlap a bit. So that might be a better uh, graphic symbol, but just depends on how you, what you need to represent. So essentially you need a, uh, your, your beams are going to have a 3D object and a 2D graphic. So now let's run the Conduct tools uh, because we have everything all set up. So I'll just go here to my plan. We'll call it new construction one level and we'll just create all of our plans and we'll go ahead and set those up. So now we've got all of our scenes created and I can go to construction plan light and then uh, now you can see we have uh, we're getting all of our uh, light line weights and if I go to heavy on heavy maybe that's where I want to turn on my structure so watch what that looks like so when I turn on the heavy layer or I'm sorry when I turn on the architectural structure layer I think that's a good place to put it so then I'll go to my scenes we're on heavy and I want to update my active uh, I'm sorry my visible layers we'll update those all right, and then uh, I'm going to save as we are in the temp folder, so we're good there. And then we're going to jump over into layout, and let's start a new document. And this one will go with the same uh, 11 by 17 presentation style. And let's go ahead and grab a construction plan for level one from our conduct tools. We'll go with a quarter inch. I think this is a pretty small plan. And then I'll go to File, Document Setup. And in my references, you get to relink this file. We want to go to our uh, Retail Proposed Conditions. We'll do that. So we relink that. And then I just need to stretch my viewport around a little bit. Let's see where we, if we can find our geometry. There it is. And so then we'll just kind of snap it there and snap it there okay there we go now you see what's happening here this is uh, I guess this is where you, you start to have some different considerations about where you actually want that line work to sit so maybe it would be better if it sat on the light line weight that way it could be going over all of our geometry but keep in mind too that one thing you could do is is once you're in layout if you want these these uh, grid lines to be drawn in layout that's a possibility too but if it's something that's going to be changing a lot with the design then I would recommend keeping it in SketchUp if it's something that's rather static then I would go ahead and uh, activate my line tool uh, choose one of these dashes here and then just trace these and then after you're done tracing them all you have to do is go and, and turn that layer off in that scene so no big deal there but let's um that's a pretty straightforward way of doing this let's let's go back into sketchup and let's fix this because the the way that the the viewports are stacking in the layout uh the grid lines are getting buried underneath our um our uh, light line weight so i'll head back into uh our proposed conditions here let's uh, go to heavy and we're going to turn off our structure and update that so we no longer have those grid lines showing on the light we want to turn on our structure and what happens here is now we're just going to need to raise the 2d graphic up above this stuff uh, up above our um, countertops basically and so uh, you can see that we would probably even want to go up a little further and, and make sure that they're up like kind of in line with where the section plane is cutting and that's gonna let them uh, show up a little bit better so you do kinda have to, to set them up there and then we need to go to our scenes dialog and update our visible layers so we'll update those and let's go take a look so now this is our new construction plan light let me save that go back into layout and go to document setup and we'll update this uh, this reference and now we've got a 
uh, everything sitting on top. So you just want to be aware of uh, there's no there's not really a right or a wrong way. I I think I prefer to draw my grid lines in SketchUp as a 2D graphic, but you just need to be aware of the stacking order of the viewports and how to make it show up exactly how you want it to. So uh, that's how that works out. So uh, be sure to check out smuster.com, grab that dashed line script, and uh, I'll post these other files underneath here, and I hope that helps, and uh, look forward to hearing from you guys, and, and keep me posted on your progress. Thank you.